Hi guys, at Tarkalex you can build your own ISOs, right? You can clone our code and then just start building it. This one is the net. Let's fix that. Capital N there. No, <laughs> caps lock, right? It's off. Voila. And then, yeah, you'll get the number that at that particular moment in time is on the GitHub. So I on it out. Is now for beginning of July, the release. So building has the advantage that you have the last kernel, basically, right? The last versions of any package that's on there. And what we're gonna do is install chatwm because of a user on Discord being stuck. And we're gonna show you how it's done or, or what settings that you need to go through to get a working chatwm. Now, <clears throat> it always matters. The choosing of the drivers is something that is a hurdle, right? We can, yeah, but acknowledge that Linux in that respect needs you as a user to know what you have as hardware, what you need as driver, what you need as settings for that driver. Once that's clear, you're in the clear, basically. So let's install Arconet. Let's repeat again. So we have these six lines, three for a Linux kernel and three for the other Linux kernels. So either it's CacheOS, LTS or Zen. So always it's there just to make sure that you can boot up that the kernel sees all the bits and pieces of your system. If you're wondering again, uh, and distro hoppers so it's typical for Linux users. If you're wondering again, how was it at Arclix? Here it is, right? The summary information behind here. We are on Arconet. We're not gonna go for easy because this, what you see is what you get. Basically, you get all of these, all these apps. You cannot remove things. You can only add things in Calamaris. So this is what you get and you can select more. We're gonna go for advanced, which means XFC is gone, which means all the apps stay, right? All the apps stay. It's just XFC4 and XFC4 goodies. If you know the package names already, that's gone. And then we need to, in this case, select chat WM. So if you're new to all of this, you go for advanced online in this case. So it's a little bit more. Step two, I'd say, right? This is step one, easy installation offline. Everything will always work and you get the XFC. If you don't know what this is, always choose install grub. That's the default, I would say. And off it goes with a graphical installer. ArchLinux is there, archlinux.org, download, follow the installation guide, but it's difficult. This is a graphical installer. You select whatever you want. I wouldn't select anything here, just follow my lead here, right? If drivers, is an issue, have a look, what is that thing there? SEDM is already there, so we don't need to select anything here. Here it starts, either it's an X11 or it's a Wayland thing you're gonna go for. In this case, we're gonna go for just one thing, right? Try out one thing, do not mix it, not yet. And ChatWM will be installed. Next, and then it's just packages. I just skip all these packages because why not make a script later on, which I call Arclix Nemesis. I run it and all the packages I've chosen, handpicked so to speak, will be installed, all right? Let's do something else. Let's switch around when installing all these things by way of testing. But normally I would not take any swap. 30. 64 gigabyte of RAM. That's enough. All right, there we go. Let's pause the video. Now we can pause the video. Now he's gonna, uh, he's partitioned everything. And what you see is what you get as this face, right? You will, he will copy the image. It's a compressed image. And what does it look like? What does it have? This, right? It has this. It's gonna be copied over, whether you like it or not, it's gonna be copied over. So after any Linux distributions install, installation, you say, 
and in our case, right, pseudo Pacman minus R, pseudo apt to remove, etc. Right? And all these Linux distributions, they have a way to maintain it, to install things, to delete things, and you just run the script afterwards. Clean it up. Let's pause the video. And then after eight minutes, the installation is done here. It unmounts all kind of things. And there we are. This is Grub. This is our Grub, right? With a theme. All options. And this Linux Zen is booting up. So each with three ISOs, and each of the ISO has a different second kernel. That is always the Linux kernel. SDM greets us. I say hi, good morning. And now we select ChatWM. Well, SDM selects ChatWM because there is something behind SDM. It's one of the pitfalls. If you forget to select the desktop, you end up in SDM. And then it says login. But there is nothing behind it. You forgot to have, well, to choose a desktop. What do you think SDM is going to do if there's no desktop behind it? Just stays there, right? So it's not that the password is not correct, that the user is not created, uh, that you're in QWERTY instead of Azerty or whatever, right? It's the desktop you forgot to install in ArcoNet. So I didn't forget it. So I've got myself a ChatWM. This is good in the beginning, right? Um, nope, <laughs> don't need it anymore. Not our years on ChatWM. So Ctrl T, the things that you need to remember. Super Q and Super Shift Q. There is the Super Enter thing and the Super Shift Enter thing. And it's all those things that you need. And the Super X maybe to log out and that's it, right? So let's always do big, so Super Q and Super Shift Q and then Super X. And then you have the complete look and this is runes, and runes is something I've drawn myself. So these are actual things that exist on the internet. I found some rune designs or signs, and I've drawn them myself on a tablet. And there you go, that's one of the choices. One of the so many choices. I don't know, purple, I don't know. Just choose one, right? Sweet, maybe. Save settings, escape, super X. There are a few things in here to choose. All right, so yes, ChatWM just works and Arconet works as well.